Hello everyone, in this video I am going to be talking about poetry and how we can use this tool for machine learning development or data science development. Uh, this video is going to be really interesting because I am going to show you an alternative um, to Jupyter notebooks um, that are tools for data scientists and machine learning engineers. Um, Jupyter robots in general are great, especially when it comes with EDAs or exploratory data analysis. However, I think that we are losing some things when we are working using this tool because, you know, using Jupyter robots, um, it's not really convenient, especially when we are working uh, in a large team in a, with a large project. So, I think that by using Jupyter robots. Uh, is going to be more complicated to debug the code, to share our code, or track the changes in our code because uh, I think that Git and GitHub works uh, much better with Python scripts. So uh, this could be maybe uh, a bit of my preferences, but uh, the important thing is that today you are going to see how we can use Python scripts um, poetry for machine learning development. Um, so the project that I am going to be uh, talking about or working on is about NLP, Natural Language Processing. Um, it's basically a text classifier. The idea is to use a public data set about movie reviews. Um, these reviews could be either positive or negative and the idea is to build a classifier that distinguishes between these uh, reviews is this review positive or it is negative so that's the idea this is I think a basic task in, NL, in the NLP field so let's get started and the first thing that I'm going to do is to let's say create the hello world with poetry so now, uh, the first thing that I have to do is to install Poetry, right? And this is really easy. The only thing that we have to do is install Poetry as a, another Python package. Pit install Poetry, right? And I already have installed uh, this tool, so it seems that, you know, the requirement is already satisfied. So. The next thing that I'm going to do is to create a new project. And with Poetry, we can do this by using the command Poetry New and the name of the project. In this case, let's call this project Text Classifier. Poetry is going to create our package for us. Let's go to Text Classifier and let's open our favorite uh, uh, coding tool at least mine so this is the project that poetry has created for us so basically what we have what we have here we have some folders one folder to include our unit test code unit testing code right here and uh, we have the package test classifier inside this folder we are going to include other folders um, modules, Python modules, that um, are going to provide a structure to our project, to our machine learning project. Something important here is this document, the pyproject.toml. So this file is going to store or track all the dependencies that our project needs. So this is very important because it will help us to reproduce the same environment again and again. So let's keep going by doing a hello world in using poetry. So to do this, I'm going to um, create a new file here, and I'm going to call and I'm going to call this file. Uh, run hello world something like that 
And yes, maybe I can write here just bring hello world and run this script, but you know, it's too easy. And the idea is to show the capabilities of uh, poetry. So let's use this structure, this modular structure, and let's create a new file inside the folder called text classifier. <clears throat> let's call this um, uh, this module print information. Right, and within this, I'm going to define a new function called say something. And this function is going to receive as an argument the variable something. And the only task that this function has to perform is to print the value of that variable. So here in wrong hello world, we can uh, import that module taking advantage of this project structure so we can say text classifier dot print information import say something right and here let's create this to run our script say something hello world That's all. And if we want to run this script, the only thing that we have to do is use poetry run Python. I am doing, I am writing, I am specifying Python because I am in Windows. Um, probably if you're working with Linux, um, using just poetry run the name, of, the name of the script, it will work. But I tried to do that before and it doesn't work. It didn't work. So the only thing that you know, I figured out was to specify that I want to use Python. So poetry run Python, the name of the screen, in this case, wrong hello world. And here we are, here we have our hello world with poetry. So in the next video, I'm going to elaborate just a bit more about the, the, this project structure because this is one of the things that we had to do um, before starting to write in code, you know, to define the modules and the functions that we are going to write in order to make this um, project related to NLP. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can add libraries, you know, like Scikit-Learn, Pandas, or Matplotly to our project, and how we can, you know, create this folder structure, um, separate everything so there is a kind of separation of concerns, something that is really important, especially for example, if we want to include our code um, in a, within a CI CD pipeline, no? continuous integration, continuous deployment pipeline. So I think that this project is going to be really interesting. Um, I can't wait uh, for the next time. So see you and thank you for be here.